Ladies and gentlemen, new episode, Music is Love Language. I'm your host, Clint Coley, a.k.a. Coach Clint, a.k.a. the hardest working man in show business, a.k.a. Uh, the people's champion, wow. a.k.a. Mr. Herm's son. Yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, hold on, I got to guess, y'all, but before we before we get to you, um, let me explain. So Coach Clint, like, you know, niggas, you know, I was the coach of the Hoochie Daddy season. That was Clearly. on the, that was on the old podcast though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was the coach of the Hoochie Daddy season. And then the people's champ, like, so you from Houston. I am. Asian Paul Houston. Wall calls himself the people's champion. His chain light up like a limp because now he's back with the camp. Well, I feel like if he can call himself the people's champion, I think I've done more than Paul Wall. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If he, if I think that I've done, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, he can call himself the people's champ. Why can't I be, be the people's okay, champ? Well, All right. Know. Huh? And then there's, uh, then there's um, the hardest work. That's self-explanatory. I used to call myself James Brown, but then he died. And it's like, he's not the hardest working man in show business oh, no more. Because he's not working. He's not, he can't work. He's not. We, that just went very left. No, I'm just saying. Right you, I'm just saying. Not, no, I'm just saying. I used to call myself. I'm like, yo, AK James Brown. But I'm like, yo, I'm not calling myself another man. Yeah. I'm the hardest working man in show business now. Okay. And then, um, and then, uh, Mr. Herm's son, you know, it's my dad. Yes. Um, all right. Well, anybody that just need to just listen to this podcast for the first time and you never knew these things. Fun facts. <laughs> Hi, Kendra. What's good? Kendra? How you doing? This your first time on either podcast. Well, I mean, it's the first time I was invited. Okay. Women, don't say it like that. You, 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 you've been in Houston. Okay. For a very, for a very long time. You know, we, we travel. You're not flying to LA to do no toxic advice from a fuckboy podcast. I mean, I would have probably granted a positive perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. That's probably why you didn't invite me. Yeah, you know, I don't want. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. On, no, I'm not. We done, man. Right. So, uh, all right, man. Look, today though. Oh, real quick, real quick. I got one thing to promote, and then we'll get into the topic. Washington, D.C., Raleigh, North Carolina, and Richmond, Virginia. On the My Edible Kicked In tour, I didn't see come see y'all. I had a, I had dates. I had to reschedule because I had something else going on. Mm -hmm. With that being said, August 26th, Richmond, Virginia. August 27th, uh, uh, Washington, D.C., and uh, September 1st, Raleigh, North Carolina. Get your tickets. The tickets are in the description of this episode. All right. Let's talk. Let's talk. So the name of this podcast is called Music is a Love Language. Ooh, yeah. And people, um, you, you, know, you know, I know we, we have music debates and stuff like that. But one thing that I've really never talked about yet, and this is because it's still the early inception of this podcast. So mm -hmm. you want, you know, this is, this is still early. But I want to talk about, has there ever been a time when you heard somebody's music choice and you're like, you know what? This ain't going very far. I'll never forget. A uh, girl invited me over one time, all right? And uh, she had, I guess, made a playlist of the things that she was cooking to. And her cooking playlist was ass, which means her food was ass. I got to know what was on the playlist. The food was ass. So what was on this playlist at the time? Uh, this was about 2013-ish. So like at the time, I think she had a lot of Wiz Khalifa Okay. I, not to say that I'm not a. I'm not to say that I don't like Wiz Khalifa, right. but I don't need to hear Wiz Khalifa while you're making. I, no, nigga, like. I mean, was it like cushion orange juice? Like she was like. No, it was some bullshit. Like, it was like the white <laughs> shit he did. Like I don't want to. I don't want to. No, like it was like yeah. Okay. It was okay. So it, it wasn't a great playlist, but then the food wasn't great. But I knew by listening to the music, I was already turned yeah, the off. The food wasn't made with the right type of love. Well, the food. <laughs> yeah, the food wasn't good regardless. I don't think the playlist was going to help. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 the turnoff to me was not the food. I can work. I can work with a woman that can't cook. It's not that serious. Women don't. It's, it's 2022. Since I can cook myself, we don't need that. Okay. We don't need cooking. If we can't share the same music, to, or not even same music, if we can't appreciate one another's selection in music, there's right. nothing else to talk about. I didn't appreciate her selection in music. Like I can understand why you may like something. Mm -hmm. I can understand. We don't have to like the same stuff. But it was but a whole playlist. It was ass. Okay. There was not one song where I was like, it was ass. And then here's the thing, though. I don't have to know the song for me to feel like, oh, you know what? The playlist wasn't even made with love. She just <laughs> threw some songs together. Like, I just. I shuffle. Was, it was giving shuffle vibes. I was, it was ass, <laughs> yo. So let me ask okay. you this. Has there ever been a time where you felt like 
it turns you completely, not completely off. And I don't, and we say turn off and turn on, we don't mean sexually. I know. It that. just means like, yo, you know what, dog? Like, I'm vibing with it. This I'm is it. With it. Yeah, or this, yeah, this is either this it or this, or like, either I'm going to see you again or I'm not going to see you again. Talk to me. All right, this is getting real personal. So if you're watching this, I apologize. We should definitely get personal. No, <laughs> yo, listen, man, I'm personal. But no, I definitely had an experience like that where I could never look at the guy the same. Um, mm. But he played his music. Yeah, and it was ass. It was really bad. What was his music though? Bad. Um, oh, he's hey, it was rapper. Michael Jackson. No. <laughs> Not Michael I was like, that's, Jackson. That's bad. fire. Like, <laughs> it was. It was really bad, and I'll never forget because you know I'm never gonna try to humiliate you or put you. You know, no, right? Little you, but right. it was like, how am I supposed to respond? Because you know me, and I'm goofy. Like, right, right, right. There's right. only so much that I can do in this situation, mm-hmm. and you want to keep going, like. How am I supposed to... Now I'm uncomfortable. So... <laughs> uh, Don't ask my opinion because I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, here's the thing, right? We all understand that music is is subjective and taste is... You know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell y'all something. I don't like Eminem okay. at all. I'm not an Eminem fan. Okay. But I don't take away from the fact that the guy can rap. Mm-hmm. And I also don't it's take... definitely a lyricist. Yeah, he can rap and he also has a classic album under his belt. I, I don't... I'm not a fan. So my thing is if you're putting it on... Right? Mm-hmm. Read the fucking room, sis. You know what I'm saying? Or read the room, bro. Like, I think certain music should be... Like, there's certain music I only listen to by myself. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. There's certain shit that's literally probably just for me that y'all never gonna know I like and this. And that's fine. Right? But I know that. I'm not sharing that with you. I'm not asking... I'm not inviting you in on this experience. Right. Like, he really wanted me to listen to his raps. <laughs> oh, it was his raps? It was his... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm thinking the nigga put on some music. He like no, nah. He like nah, shawty. That's why it's even more personal. <laughs> Let like, me hear this. So, I apologize. It just wasn't very good. I'm that's like, okay. That's okay. Um, but yeah. Um, but I I think it's human nature to look to connect with people, and music is definitely like an unspoken language, right? I yeah. Go ahead. So if you put on some stuff, and I'm just like, this the shit you like? I then judge you. I'm judging, and I it judge makes you. me look at you differently. And that's and that's the thing, right? So, and I and I, I, I here's the, this topic is I'm about to get we're about to get deeper in this topic in a second. I got time, Clint. The <laughs> the main thing though is right. It's like okay, you I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. you and a guy don't like the same shows, the same shows. Mm-hmm. But if you sit down and watch a show with him, you're like okay, I can see why you. It's entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and there have been people that have, wow, this actually was a good show. You, was it, you yeah. brought me up. You put you me put, on some put shit. Put me on some yeah. shit. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? So it's like, I'm not saying I got to know your taste. It's just like, yo. Have taste. Yes. <laughs> like, here's the thing. Like, if you're playing, like, let's say you put on some, like, electronic music or mm-hmm. some funk. I mean, not funk. I love funk. But let's we say. You know you love funk. You love funk. But let's say you put on some, you know, but I know it's usually electronic funk. That's what they always say. Like, but let's say you put on some shit that I ain't never, like, I'm not privy to. It better be the best shit. Of that category. Of that, yeah, yeah. Because it is something different. I agree with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, same thing with house music. Like, that's getting rid of. Like, show me why you love this shit. Because it can't be the same I'll be trying to put people on Larry June. Okay. And they'll say to me, Clint, don't send me his deep cuts. Send me the hit. Yeah. And then and I can I take... I understand that. Yeah, so I'll send them smoothies in 91, and then... You, you got to send them the gateway shit first. Yeah, and then, you, and, then you, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I like this song. Right. Send me more. Right, okay, right, this is right. my second favorite June. Like, and I feel like, you know, it's like, yo, I know Wiz Khalifa got some joints. Mm-hmm. It was just the joint she was... That she had on the playlist this wasn't it. These weren't the joints, you know what I'm saying? But then again, again, again. You don't know why they were the joints to her. And you know what's funny? I didn't care. I know you didn't. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. So you said, "Fuck these acts of service." Though you cooking, I can't even fuck with you because this. Well, it's so here's the thing, right? The whole she was only cooking for me out of uh, she felt bad about some shit she did. She stood me well, up. It should have been even better. What she stood me up did like a week before. Oh. So it's like, yo, I'm coming over. You, so come on, testimony service. So let me tell you, let something. us know. <laughs> you stood me up, or not, not stood me up, but she flaked, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and when I say flake, but it wasn't like, see, a flake is not twenty minutes. I mean, not twenty. A flake is not three hours. Like, you know what? A flake is anything before an hour we're supposed to meet up. Okay. Like an hour before meet. Like I mean, same day, depending on what the plans are. Like if they're big. Like if we supposed to go to Six Flags and you flake at nine in the morning. 
My nigga, like, you knew that. Like, I was planning my day around going to Six Flags. Yeah, that's a full day experience. Exactly. But yeah. if you flake on a, a eight o'clock dinner, okay, cool. She flaked on some plans, plans. You know Big what I'm plans. saying? Plans. Plans, plans. Mm-hmm. So she's like, yo, I'm a cook, blah, 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 blah. Cool. But now my thing is, this is your, like, I'm on defense now. Yeah, I'm not like me over. Yeah, I'm on defense now. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> on de- You need to, you need to impress me now. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the music didn't do it. It just didn't. Neither do- did the cooking apparently. Well, the cooking again. I can that. I have space for that. I got space for. <laughs> but that was supposed to be her thing to win you over. Yeah, and it, it wasn't the playlist. Well, she so it was like she couldn't cook, and then the playlist was asked. So now I'm not one at all. Well, maybe, maybe. I'm lost. You just lost one, but. It's like, Maybe it wasn't an L for you ultimately, because y'all don't seem to be compatible. No, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But I'm just I'm, I'm I'm noticing though, like people really do put a lot of stock in it. Let's let's really let's dive into this. Oh, I'm old. What? Never mind. What were you about to say? Nothing. What were you about to say? I was saying, oh, I'm about to dive in, but I was like, I don't know if we doing Trey songs or not. Oh, oh, I, I come on, and I heard you vocals barely, but uh, were you in the choir? Everybody was in the choir in my church. You didn't have a choice. Yeah. I grew up Pentecostal, so yeah. it was collaborative. Yeah, I, was in the choir. I, I was in the choir. Okay, what you saying? Nothing. Okay. Because I only lasted like, my mom took me to one rehearsal and I was in that motherfucker cutting up. <laughs> Yo, my mom took me to choir rehearsal. No bullshit. Mom, tell me if I'm lying, right? She, um, I, I don't name the church. It was Mount Olive Church of God in Christ in North Philadelphia. Really? When I was about... You went to Church of God in Christ? Told you? I, I didn't know the difference. I didn't care. It was just church, right? But no, I never did. You know the difference when you grew up in the mugs. I, didn't, I wasn't thinking like that. I just, okay. I, 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 my, mom, and my mom was iffy with the church anyway. Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we... So she enrolled, my mom enrolls me in the choir. One, one The first rehearsal, I moved the choir. To, yeah. How old were you? Like eight. Nine. Okay, I'm just glad you was 18 years. It no, is I, <laughs> no, I was in single digits. Okay, like, okay. yeah, but my mom was like, "Yo, you, you so fucking embarrassing." Like, <laughs> but yeah, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I. But no, but even when I was when before I mooned them, the reason why I was mooning because I was like, "Yo, this shit ass." I see what you did there. The choir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the choir was ass though. Like. I'm not saying that I, I can't sing. We weren't in an award-winning choir. It was just an obligation. This nigga just had me, like, the nigga was like, yo, you're going to sing alto. I don't know what the fuck that means. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you're not giving me enough. And I forget the song we were singing. And I'm just, he's like, you're not giving me enough. You're not giving me enough. And I just pulled my pants down and said, man, get, get this. You gave him everything. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not getting yeah. this. I'm <laughs> I was just thinking about the story, man. I got my ass whooped so bad for <laughs> my dad fucked me. Up. And you deserve. My dad fucked no, me. No, Mama D. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> but no, let's get back to it. So, all right. <clears throat> but why? Why? How did we even get on the choir in the first place? Oh, I oh you were vocals. singing, and then I was like, oh, you're in the choir. So okay. people really invest stock into this. Yes. Take it but back. why do we? And I want to ask you personally. Me personally. Why is music so important to you? When it comes to when it comes, I don't, I don't even I don't even got connection. Come, yes, connection. Why is music so important to you when it comes to connection? Okay, I think music in general is just very personal. Obviously, the things that uh, resonate with you are because of some experience or some way perspective you may have. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, music just provokes emotion um, and like also. Just different ways of looking at things. It's so funny because I laugh all the time when I hear like old school R and B. Like, why was I looking out the window crying at like eight to a song and the lyrics? You know what I mean? You just felt that shit, even mm-hmm, though you didn't mm-hmm, even have the mm-hmm. experience to maybe match what mm-hmm. they were talking about. I mm-hmm. think music and music is an experience in itself, right? Mm-hmm. And so for me, I think that's why I have a hard time navigating the era we live in now because mm. I'm as much as I love a good beat, which you know, mm. I'm a dance battle all mm-hmm. day. I like lyrics. I like to feel something mm-hmm. when I listen to music. So it's hard to like So I guess but when it comes to like I guess with it being when now let's correlate that that same feeling to mm-hmm. you know a connection with maybe a person. It with could a be person. a friend or anything. It's like like I'm not saying so for some people it's not a deal breaker blah 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 and let's be honest it's probably not a deal breaker for most but like okay. that per- but that also it loses the per- a bad taste in music definitely loses you some points for you- sure and the thing is my question is so now it's like well why to you 
Why would it lose points to you if you got if you're hanging with somebody? And because are we even able to speak the same language? Like I mm, think, mm, like mm. if I send you a playlist, mm. right, and you fuck with it, that's you won. What you won <laughs> champion, right? Yeah. And then it's it's, it's too like how we talk to each other. Mm. You know what I mean? I knew I know like the way my mind even works. When you say certain things, I think of songs. Like, there it is. There period. it is. There it is. You know what I mean? Say that so one that's, more time. That's... Talk to the camera when you say that this time. No, no, I'm going <laughs> talk to <laughs> Yeah. I said no. <laughs> no, but... um, no, like shit, I forgot what I said. <laughs> I was just saying, like, no. when I it it just No, you 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 said uh like you respond like when you think of when you when when somebody says I something, hear it's like let's say you say a certain like I think of music. Music right, right, is right, the right. unspoken language that's always happening in my mind, mm -hmm. right? So you'll say anything and I got a song for it, right? Right. But it's like also it's it's one of those things it's like hard to explain. Like No, and that's the point. It's hard to explain, but it's so important at yeah. the same time. So yeah, that is just Music is magical. All right. There's that. I like that. I like that. That I like. You can make me feel something without ever opening your mouth by just having a certain song. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You can set a Ooh. whole vibe. You can share a whole unspoken energy. Guys think this the cheat code. Now they about to not. They it's might, a real thing. Guys not about to open their mouth. They about to start sending you. If you didn't know about to start sending you songs. <laughs> hey, girl. You'll never, never know me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's real, though. No, for yeah. real, though. Like, you know, and... And let, let me, and I don't know if you don't mind me, you know. Uh, Please, but, it's a conversation. I think that with that too, like, I do think of the same thing when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, like, we're talking, if somebody's talking. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, like, I'm looking at the wall, and let's say we're talking about, yeah, man, doctors be having pagers. Yeah, man, yeah, you got to beep them. Oh, yeah, we'll beep me 911. Like, that's just, yeah. like, like that's, yeah. that's how, that's how, that's, that's literally where I go. And then yeah. if you're looking at me like, well, what is beep me 911? People do the same thing with movies, though. <laughs> like, Especially, like, classic movies, they expect you to know if they be like, what comes after that? <laughs> yeah, right. It's just like, dang, you left me hanging. Right, that's exactly, how, that's exactly. That's music, too, though. But here's the thing. You don't got to know all of it. But know, know something. Know, know something. Know something. Know like, something. If, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't know Beat Me Now, I got a problem with that. Because that means you don't like Missy. How you how you like Missy and don't know that? Do you know so what I'm saying? that's a deal breaker for you? Not liking Missy? Not liking Missy Elliott for sure is a deal breaker for me. Look, bitches are currently <laughs> going on YouTube right now. Title going on, on Spotify. Yeah, no, nah, not liking Missy Elliott. Nah, to nah, every you, Missy song because nah, you said nah, that. Yeah, nah, fuck with me. You fuck, if you fuck with me, you fuck with Missy Elliott. Trash bags and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I, nigga, what? I used to, yo, when I, yo, when I was opening for DL, I used to come out to, like, just to be, uh, sock it to me. Doom, doom. And you know what I thought about every time I hear that? I, every time I hear Sock It To Me, mm -hmm. I think of the movie Two Can Play That Game. Because every time Gabrielle Union's character, I think it was, no, every time Vivica A. Fox character came you on the screen. the A in there too. Doom, doom. <laughs> oh, I mean, I want respect with Vivica A. Fox. She did a pilot for me, so, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. Yeah, shout out to Viv. Hey, Viv, how you been, baby? <laughs> it's been a while. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm not shooting my shot at Viv, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm calling her Viv like we friends. Like, <laughs> I think I still got a number, but we cool. Like, I mean, right. man, but we, I, I don't think we're on. Hey, Vivica, are we on? Can I call you Viv? Let me know. All right. <laughs> can, I you, can I call you? Vivica A. Fox is, is sufficient. <laughs> She's right like, now. no, nigga, it's, it's A to A. Fox to you. What does the A stand for? Mm. We need to, Google. We need to Google that. Yo, what does the A stand for? Like, and I know this can't, it can't be a secret. It's probably some bullshit. No, I'm calling this because you name. wanted us to know it was an A, like, <laughs> like you know, an A name. But see, like when you say somebody's name, like with a with a like W E B Du Bois, like that sounds so distinguished. Yeah. If you call like J K, like that's a just kidding. I guess I just <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Yeah, right. Let me get back to what I'm saying. But no, but for real though, like it's it's um. Yeah, I do think of I do think of songs when I'm talking, and I do think of movies when I'm talking, and it's like, man, like there's nothing. Like I think the main thing is people love inside jokes. Yeah. Or people love when you get it makes you feel special. Like we have a thing, right? Or yeah. you get somebody else's quirkiness. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not even just about the fact that you know y'all y'all like it's not about liking the same stuff. It's mm -hmm. about understanding the same stuff. Like, here's the thing. But like, understanding is the key to liking someone. You got to be able to understand people on a certain level to even connect. And facts. Decide you like someone. Here's the thing. I'm, and I'm, I've said this on this podcast. I'm not a Beyonce fan. 
Hear me out. Hear me out. A fan, meaning like I'm not at the concerts. I'm I would stand up to midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying no secret box. Like I'm not. Right. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm not doing that. I understand. But I do appreciate the music. Yeah. And you can give me a Beyonce reference. Beyonce reference. A Beyonce. Beyonce. Let, that might be a whole new word. A Beyonce. I kind of like it. I like it <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. But damn, that's kind of hot. Yo, Beyonce. Beyonce. But a Beyonce reference. If you give me a Beyonce reference, I would understand because I understand the culture. But one thing I will My say ears about you, Clint, yeah. that might be different from, um, I would say, the general population is you will at least listen before you decide you don't like something. Facts. Absolutely. And versus saying, like, I put everything, all of her bodies of work in the same category and I'm just not interested. Well, how do you know that's not something you like until you tried it? You listen. You know what I mean? I can legitimately say. That's why I respect you. I've listened to every, opinion. I've given Beyonce, I've listened to every album. How do you feel about this last album? Uh, well, I'll talk about it on the other okay. part. But, but just to, re- to reiterate, um, I love the album. Um, I'm not a, like I mean I can understand why people may not like it or mm-hmm. it may not be for them. I like the album. I like the transitions mm-hmm. and that, I yo, love a good transition. Yeah, and that plastic off the sofa, nigga. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> In yourself, round me. A yeah. vocalist. Yeah, I've been listen. I've been I've been singing this song on this podcast now for like three episodes, and so mm-hmm. it got we got a chokehold on me. Um, but anyway, yeah, no. But I think that that that's really where what it what it what it really boils down to is like. You, we have it's an understanding, yeah. And my thing is, if I can't have a simple understanding with you, then I can't have a greater understanding mm. with you. You know what I'm mm. saying? If I can't have Ooh. a simple under a simple, a simple understanding, is literally just music. Like if you have or it's something. No, here's the thing: for mm. everybody, is different. It could be video games with your lady, bro. I don't know. It's something pop. Culture, I don't know. You have to have something. But yeah, but music for for it's music. I've learned is the general consensus, though. You know what I mean? Because everybody likes some type of music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, And you know what really did it for me is when I watch like some of uh, these stars go and travel, go on tour, and it's like all over the world people yes. connect with this yes. one particular artist, even if that's not even the language you speak. That's what I want. I'm going to get into that next because wow. this is why concerts are so important to, I wouldn't even say dating, just concerts are important just to yourself, man. Mm-hmm. Like, all right. I'm a like I listen. I'm a Larry June fan. I've said this a bunch of times, but I'm gonna say it again. Clearly, <laughs> I'm a Larry June fan. But hear me out. Hear me out, though. If I go to a Larry June concert, that means there's other Larry June fans with me. Right. If you know, you know, and it's like wow, like you know what I'm saying. And like if I see somebody with a Larry June T-shirt on, you know what I say to him? I look at him and say, "Yo, good job." That's only we would know that if you're a, if you're a fan. Okay. And my thing is, is like you can have that with some with an artist mm-hmm. with somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if you can't have that, or if you if we can't, if there's no potential in that, what are we doing? Mm. What are we doing? And again, it don't have to be Larry June. Like, I'm a big Mary J. Blige fan. Just as much as I'm a Larry Everybody June Everybody knows. I'm a big Mary J. Blige <laughs> fan, dog. Like, and, you know, I, I mean, yeah, I like everybody on this wall for the most part. But like, and I'm not big fans of everybody on the wall. I'm not a big fan of Al, be sure. Yeah. He's cool, but I, I can tell, I'm, I can do without him. Like, okay. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. He's cool. Right, He's right. good. I follow, I follow. But I, you know, I'm not like I'm not getting in my car intentionally saying, you know, what, let me go bump some Al B. Sure. Okay. But I'll get in my car and intentionally bump Tony Braxton. Tony, absolutely. Yeah. Or oh, and Shy. I'm good. I, I like they like I don't need them either. Andy. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need them either. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I mean I feel like that was everybody's talent show song growing up. No. Uh, the <laughs> that talent. And SWV week. Yes, the week was definitely <laughs> yo. Everybody did that for the talent show. Yo, three, listen, ladies, if you didn't have two friends that you were SWV <laughs> with when you were growing up. You have not lived. And doing talent shows, I don't want to talk to you either. Fuck you talk. Well, how you not, how you not have two friends in the mirror? <laughs> how you didn't do that? How your friends didn't, and we a little younger, so, you know, y'all didn't, y'all didn't think y'all was Destiny Child? Y'all didn't think y'all was total nothing? Ladies of your man at home. Yeah, so I, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that at all. Um, real quick, just in case y'all like to fast forward at the top of the podcast when you think I be promoting shit, I'm going to catch you in the middle. Hi, fuck you. Got you. Uh, <laughs> real quick, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, August 27th. August 26th is Richmond. Um, and uh, September 1st is Raleigh, North Carolina. If you're in any of those cities, come on, check me out. Um, I'm funny. Um, you can you can confirm that. Facts. Uh, I'm funny. 
<laughs> so, um, no, like, I, you know what? I'm tired of this, man. Yeah, man, I'm tired of begging motherfuckers to come to my show. I'm funny, dog. Look, you coming to see me, you're going to have a good motherfucking time. You owe it to yourself to experience. You really going to have a good time at my show. Like, I'm I'm not even, like, it's not like you come to the show. I give you my body and soul and my jokes. Body and... I just remember that. Uh, remember the body and soul, uh, the CDs. Oh, the, the eight, commercials. Yeah, the like, body and soul joints. But all you had to do, see, this was before our time. Anyway, go. Back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but you used to call. You know, what I mean, nineteen ninety five. Ship plus shipping and handling. Plus shipping and if you call right now. But if you call right now, you get a ten percent discount. They had all the bankers though. They had all the. So bankers. you could have really just made a playlist. Could have just. This all, is before we were burning the CDs. Body like. and soul was nothing but a glorified playlist. The original playlist. Yes. Shout out to Body and Soul. Y'all the real ones. Shout out to Anita. Shout out to Anita. Well, she was body, well, she's on Body and Soul. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Yeah, anyway. All right. <laughs> Come to the show, goddammit. All right. We was talking about um <laughs> we were talking about talent show playlist. Talent show playlist. Yeah. I, I, or talent show music, which makes me now realize we need do we really need a playlist of like songs you sang in a talent show? No, we know who they are. Because, like, there are only a few of them. Yeah. But everybody had different ones. So, like, I was in a talent show. Or karaoke. And or karaoke. How about that? I was in a talent show. And I won. I can't. Oh, wait. What were you doing? I was singing. But I can't sing. It's not the... you had stage presence, didn't you? That's all I needed. (laughs) That's all you need. The gun? I (laughs) wanted... So, here's the song. The song was Usher. No, you gotta sing it. Okay. Take us back. Okay. Um, I, cause I, I, okay, boom, boom, boom. All the time I think of you, holding on to someone new. Don't make me like so. Yeah, I'm all. I'm, you were I'm, holding back. I'm you were doing holding all back. this. I'm pointing at the girls and and uh, yeah, I won. You deserve. I won. Yeah, I won in ninety. It was ninety five. Yes, That's a good year. Ninety five. I was seven. Yeah, I was eight. Yeah, I was. Yeah. A lot of things happened when I was eight. That changed my life. Like we'll circle back. Third grade changed my life. I'm as a matter of fact. No, that's not the playlist. Because then I'm going to go to 95. And then Shout 90- out to Miss McIntosh Williams, my third grade teacher. Shout out to Miss Patricia DeVore. She was my third grade she teacher. She had a player as name? Patricia, Miss Patricia, Mrs. DeVore. Mrs. Mrs. DeVore. DeVore. But all the time of that, she lives in Tampa. And when I'm doing the show in Tampa, I, so she sent me, she's like, yo, you ever come to Tampa? I'm coming to Tampa, Miss DeVore, and I'm taking you out to dinner. Because <laughs> you, because I, I remember my third grade teacher. I remember. If you re- if you remember your, if you remember a teacher, you chances are you loved him. Miss DeVore was like the, like like she was mean to me, but it was like a like I love you, like you could be somebody mean, like. But I felt that when I was eight, and now look at me, Miss DeVore. I did all right. You are somebody. Playing. You damn right. Shout out to Miss DeVore. Shout out to Miss Motherfucking DeVore. I went to a black Christian school. A, Praise him. A black private Christian. Yeah, I man. went to homeschool after third grade, so yeah, that was that not was, my mom though, but it was a Christian curriculum. It that'd have been weird to me. I couldn't do it. It was. It was. There was a lot of things that might be another podcast. The, Growing up in a cult, you know what I mean. We can <laughs> talk about that. We'll talk about. Yeah, time. yeah. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> but back to the music. Let's back to the music. <laughs> my bad. We had a little commercial. All right. Um, I want to talk about this though, right? Mm-hmm. So we're still talking about like you know, you know not liking music and stuff, not somebody's taste and blah, 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 right? Yeah. To me, I'm not going to lie, though. The best feeling in the world is when really somebody really puts you on some dope shit. And that's y'all song. Like, yeah, like you, like, there's nothing better than when somebody put you on some shit. I've been put on, you've yeah. been put on. Yeah. That's really what this is about. So now, my question is, like, what, what, does, what, does, what does something have to have for you to say like, oh, I never heard this, but I'm gonna like it. Like, what is your, what's your vibe? Like, if okay, let's say, <clears throat> let's say a guy, you, you, you and a guy, y'all about to, y'all about to, um, y'all about to hang out, right? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know any of your favorite artists, okay. right? You blank like blank slate, blank slate. Okay, he just says, hey, like, what are you, what are you, what are you feeling today? Today, it could be, and I'm asking you this right, right now. Like, if you were getting ready to go out right now, what time mm-hmm. is it? It's, we're recording this. What time is this? It's one twenty-two in the afternoon. So let's okay. say you got a date right after this. And he's like, yo, what are you? What kind of music are you in the mood for? And he's going to play some shit that you've never heard before. What does, what's the key elements it has to have? Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to actually hear instruments in music still. Okay. That's a big deal. That's a very big deal. That's a, fellas, that's a good clue. If you like instruments, that means I know I need to get you. I need, I need some bands. 
yeah, give me. Like, that's some, why you know, off, yeah. off camera, we were talking about the internet. Yeah, the internet. I think that's what makes them so genius. It's like you have the band, but you have the soul. You yes. have the lyrics. You have everything. You have the voice. You have all these. Yes. everything is like working together. Yes, it's encompassed. Yes. Um. So there's more bands than the internet. Though I want y'all to know that. D- right, dig right. deeper. But I'm I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm just telling these guys like, yo, don't don't just <laughs> don't just don't, don't just have the internet. You gotta have a. You need backup bands. Nigga. Switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> you need backup bands. Nigga. No, but I love um. I love real music, so I like to hear instruments. What are they talking about? Because mm-hmm. I'm a writer, so I definitely hear words. Mm-hmm. Um, and what? How do I feel when I listen to this? Mm-hmm. You know, like turn up is cool, but if it's coming from a man, there is some element of like romance that I want to hear. Some element It doesn't have to be. It don't have to, to be, be sex me up or yeah, no, 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 it don't no. yeah, but just it make me feel like oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Make me feel oh. like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like oh. That's funny. I like you know, that. I want to, you know, that that's actually a dope idea. Send me a playlist for our day later. You know. Yeah. You do. You be doing that shit. Uh, I have done it. Yes, mm-hmm. I have done it. Yes. That's cute. I might steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. If tell a girl, oh, the moment a woman sends a man a playlist I've before they date, playlist. before the date. Nigga, the draws is yours. <laughs> you can have these. GTD. You can have these briefs, <laughs> sis. What you mean? <laughs> Can have these briefs with you. you can, can have these briefs. That's what you want. That's what you trying no, to get. I think it's just nice for well, curating. Well, that. yeah. So I have day. I have playlists on my on my things. We know a playlist is your thing. After the date, before the date, playlists are your thing. During the date, yeah. Um, but you said something. You said that it has to have instruments. And here's the thing: instruments doesn't necessarily have to even mean a band. Right. We just need to be able to. You need to be able to hear the instrumentation. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jill. You know, exactly. <laughs> Live instrumentation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? See what just happened there, people? <laughs> Connection. You know what I mean? See what just happened there, people? Yes, I know what you meant. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, we got excited. Now you probably yelling. They're like, oh, shit, they loud as shit. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, but yes. It can just have regular instruments. Um, it also can have... Um, it also like I mean also it doesn't like I said it doesn't have to necessarily be a band. My thing is, the people don't have to be new for yeah. the woman never to have hear, heard of them before. That's also true. You know what I mean? Like there's so much music around this world. There's so much music in like you know what I'm saying. And it's like so guys are probably like, well, well, how do I? How do how Clint help me? How do I like? How do I get some shit? The numbers at the bottom of the screen one eight eight Clint help. <laughs> No, but it's like, how do you have something that she doesn't probably know? And it's like, here's the thing. You know who people do know. Mm-hmm. You know, we know Mary. We know Justin Timberlake. We know, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know who we do know. Yeah. Go in somebody, like, this is, this is where your taste comes into play. Give me some Cleo soul. Give me some. There's some, but that's what I'm saying. There's, a, there's people that I like that I'm pretty sure, like, somebody's never heard of. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even like, 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 like I said, I was, doing, I was doing a show last night, and I was talking about Larry June. 70% of the audience did not know who he was. Until then. Until last night. And now they're hooked. I don't know if they're hooked, because I didn't play no music. But they it's like, to go see. But I'm, I'm confident in this nigga's music, where I'm like, yo, I believe, like, you like instrumentations and blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, it got that Bay Area knock. There's instruments in it. It's melodic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's... That's another thing, Hip-hop too. can be that, too. Like well, We talked about the subjectivity of music. I um, also feel like where you're from and what you enjoy varies. Because, like, I'm from the South, the real South, Texas. It's from Houston. That's right. I'm <laughs> from H-Town. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We out here 713. What's From good? Mo City. I'm not from Mo City. No, I just, <laughs> no you're not, but well, it's just a joke. Cause, but shout out to Mo City with a no, girl so pretty, you Never know? forget this chick fucking cuss me out and gonna be like, I'm from Mo City, nigga. I'm like, oh. All right. Gang, gang. Yeah, I like <laughs> exit stage left. But go ahead. But no, I do feel like um so Cali mm. Cali has its own sound. Yes, it does. Right? California you know, definitely Texas has its own sound. Te- you know, Texas has its Houston own Houston specifically. Houston specifically, specifically has its own sound. So like music and what people enjoy is different. Yes, it is. Depending on where you go. And even what they play is different. Which shout out to DJ Artistic one time because he always shows love and plays Southern music. He plays everybody. He plays this everything, but he's, when he sees me, he shows me shit, love. Man. You know, you know, I want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on this pod. I'm gonna give DJ Artistic his flowers right now. I'm gonna tell you this right now, hands down, best DJ in the country. 
I love you, Ronald. I'll stay. Whoa, whoa, damn. Like, I'm trying to get a man. Shout out you. You call him Ronald? Like, I, I mean, DJ. God just, damn. I mean, you know, that's his name. Well, yeah, but dude, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was a secret. It's not, but dude, like, just do the if, if somebody's giving Clint Coley a shout out, don't be like, I love you, Herman. Like, fuck. You, like, don't, you don't want that? I, I don't mind, but it's, I want people to find me. Okay. okay. Now. I apologize, Ronald. Artistic. You getting your damn flowers, dog. Best DJ in the country. I love Hands down, <laughs> bar none. It, I, to me, it's not close. And I'm talking about somebody who He's has so a well rounded, very well rounded, knows his stuff. Great transit, great de- like this. He's the perfect DJ. And transitions and I, matter. Yes, <laughs> transitions. So death. He's the perfect DJ. I don't so. care. He can, and he's versatile. New, old, oh. then, now, left, right. The motherfucker is. He can do it all. And that's not. This not like a, a drop. But it's like yo, like. Me and him became friends because I liked his music. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally how we became cool. Me and him became friends because I danced to every song. <laughs> but you know me, that's, I go that's, out, yeah, I dance. that's the same. That's the I thing. dance that's, all night, and yeah. I hate that people stop doing that. Like, when did you people know what? Stop I, that's another thing, right? So let's talk let's, about let's talk about this, fellas. Whatever happened to going out dancing on a date? Like whatever happened that to like is you know, so romantic. Remember to me? back in the, like remember back niggas be like yo we about to, we got to go dancing yo. That's the cheat code. Where do you where do you go dancing at these days? Where do we where do you dance like? And I'm talking like uh, I, you know what? I think I figured out what I'm going. I do. wanted to be like from Love Jones when they went out to the club to the, to the wild hair <laughs> went to the. <laughs> Went that to the would wild be the hair. Day, like, yeah, yes. dog. But like when people don't like I'm like literally like you go out, y'all get and I it don't gotta be decked out, but y'all look nice and y'all Ooh, get it. Yeah. Get it. Ooh. That's, y'all see that show to work? Yeah. Like you don't I can't dance. I suck. But but it's my shit. Yeah. When you you know what I'm saying? Like it's the confidence. Where do people cause like my thing is and listen, there's nothing wrong with backing it up a little bit and blah, 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 blah. Right. But my right. thing is when we let's say you go out to a club with a young lady, mm-hmm. right? You're not going... So guys going to the club going for women. Women going to the club for women. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, women, guys going to the club for women, but women going to the club to dance with other women. Because the men don't want to dance. Why don't we want to dance? You know what it is? Because you can't dance, bro. You don't need to know. All you need to do is a two-step. Why? Why? Because my niggas don't dance. They just pull up their pants and... Do, do, yeah, we get it. Lean back. Yeah. Do something, though. Like, so Lean you back? Somebody, you want a nigga... Just, hey. While you dancing, just because do this? Because my thing is, I'm going to dance and I'm going to make you have fun and be comfortable, right? But my thing is, people will shy away from the opportunity. Like, you you missed out on a whole... It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's the confidence. Right. And if you a coward in a situation where mm-hmm. someone just asks you to just come out and just be there, right? Then I figured out why guys don't like dancing. Tell me, tell me everything. I think the dancing. I think what it is is when you're dancing, you're worried about if other people like your moves. See, the thing is, you should only be worried about if the girl like your moves. Period. Which she probably just don't give a fuck because it's your moves. You, know you came out here to dance with, with me. me. Like, that's it. That's all but I needed. You're worried about the audience wondering whether or not you can dance or not. And while you're worried about the audience, they on their fucking phones. Right. Anyway. <laughs> like, you worried about everybody. Such a and, weird but here's time. the thing. I've never gone out and looked at a guy and be like, oh, this, like, unless he then really. The guy moves. Like, like, I've never gone out and been like, <laughs> you know what? This motherfucker can dance. Unless he really is out there like on some Chris yeah, Brown. Or like swinging out or. You but know, nobody's no man on a no woman and man is going on a date doing all this shit unless that's y'all love like unless dancing <laughs> unless dancing is y'all like, if they both pop lock and drop yeah okay yeah y'all both want some like if y'all both you know like Miming in the club yeah or choreographers like, choreographers and y'all both are like that's different yeah and but, on some clown and shit yeah like, but most people can't dance serious. on that lo- level I only know three professional dancers my cousin Tanita who's one of the great like shout out to my cousin Tanita real quick mm-hmm. y'all you talking about somebody that'll get you together when it comes to your health and your wealth and mm-hmm. also like doing like like help you exercising while doing like like actual like dancing dancing like you know like steps and like hey you know what I'm saying like yo yeah. check Afro Funky Mama and check her out mm-hmm. no bullshit my cousin's the shit and I don't say that like that like I don't endorse all my cousins it's a, I don't like all of them you know who you are yeah my cousins don't be yeah all my cousins got a lot of my cousins got businesses I don't support that I support my so I support Tanita though Okay. Yeah, I got I got a big family though my, my great grandmother had like fourteen kids like, yeah that's how they used to right. pass the time exactly so but no let's I, I'm really this dancing thing you, you we on to something here. Cause I love to dance. So I think this playlist with this, with this, with this, with this podcast episode is going to be called. I 
Want to dance with we, somebody? No, we're not going to dance. We're going to call Shout it We Going Dancing. We Going Dancing? We Going Dancing. No, I mean, that doesn't sound as cool, but we'll roll with it. I want to dance with somebody? No. I want to feel the... Yeah, no. Okay. No, we going... No, because right. here's the thing. Women like assertiveness. So if a nigga call you up that you like and say, yo, we going dancing. I'm going. All right. Period. Exactly. So we going dancing. That's the name we of this playlist. Dancing. We going right. dancing. We going dancing. Um... But all right, so I want now. I'm really curious. Damn, niggas really don't dance no more. No, they don't, and it's so funny because I catch a lot of people off guard. Like I like to swing out, two step, all the things, mm-hmm. right? And I do all my clown shit too. But like when they play classic old school R and B, oh, I need to be with my men, like yeah. somebody's son or father. Yeah, somebody's son or father. <laughs> right, right. I want to dance, like, and so we that age. <laughs> Yo, calling we, all the zaddies. They, the zaddies. They, they, it's my son or father. Like, I mean, it's, it's that's real a, shit, though. Yeah, no, that's yeah. real shit. How, yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. thirty four. I'm thirty five. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. So, yeah. No, the daddies. Listen, man, I got gray hair in my beard, man. Fuck, we talking about? You know what I mean? It's some fine daddies out here. I'm just. All right, I, I, I take your word <laughs> for it. <laughs> I, believe, I believe you. So somebody's son and or father. Okay. You know, you're looking to like dance, you know, like, and I feel like it's becoming a lost art and I don't know why. I think I really do believe it's the, we think we're too cool. I think it's also being embarrassed and not, you know, embarrassed really. Sh- what? I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to ask every. So if you- I pull up on you at the club, I'm like, can we go? Well, you know me, but pretend you don't know me. And I'm just like, oh, if you if you ugly, I'm not dancing with you. I'm sorry. Like I'm like I'm I look man ladies I got the same thing you got in the club. Like if you if you ugly woman approach me I with, dance with ugly niggas. Uh, yeah, well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just No, a I'm, dance. Joking. Like, I'm, it's joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, y'all. You know? I'm joking. Like, no, I would stop having fun? I would definitely dance. I would definitely dance. Okay. No. And I think that's the thing. Like I don't Yeah, if a woman walked up to me like, "Hey, I'm like, yeah. All you ladies all you need to do is walk up to me and say, "Hey, if we out and you say, hey, I'm like, hey. That's the green light for you. Yeah, I mean, to dance, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me be clear. Yeah, a, a don't mean we fucking. A mean we dancing. You know what I'm saying? What's dancing? Dancing is innocent. And dance, dancing is innocent. So I want to know, yo, fellas, why don't you dance no more? You go out and you you. you why see are you it? out if you don't want to dance? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though, fellas. No, I really want to know. Like, I want people to answer this. Like, for real, fellas. I'm gonna look at the camera when I say this, fellas. Why aren't you dancing these days? Like, what? What's the problem? You go out. You see. You 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 You're see. You paying a young for an overpriced drink? Yeah, dog. I'm going to dance my ass the fuck off. Yeah, I'm gonna have all the dancing. So, fellas, yeah. Why are we not dancing with women no more? Now, I get it. Women don't be wanting to dance with us though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, women don't. Yo, women go out to dance with other women. Y'all be like, y'all be looking at us like, yo, I want to dance with him. I think a lot of people have probably had experiences where people take it too far. Niggas definitely. T- now, that's <laughs> you know what? That's why motherfuckers don't dance. Okay. Because two reasons. Number one, niggas is getting hard while you dancing. Now, if I'm gonna just say this, ladies. All right. <laughs> I understand the Me Too movement and Insert control. Bullshit here and I under, listen, I understand controlling yourself, fellas. But if, ladies, if a man and you are grinding to murder, she wrote or action, <laughs> right? What are we? Why are you? If you're on me and I'm on you, I'm not. I'm not trying to be a creep. But what? What do you think is going to happen? Like, and, and like, fellas, you should be able to control yourself. Think about <laughs> baseball or something. I don't know. But God damn it, ladies, you're making it hard for me. No pun, no, no pun, pun intended. intended. Yeah. <laughs> That's a song. You see what it is. You know what I mean? Was you see what I did? So, but I'm just saying though, like that. That's important though. Like that's literal. That's important. Yeah. That's important. And I need niggas to also understand that just because a woman dances with you does not mean that you need to hang out for the rest of the night. So I'm. So wait a minute. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Let's be, look, I'm kind of... I'm saying the innocence of it, like, listen... But I'm feeling you now. Okay, well, let's talk about it, but that doesn't mean... (laughs) (laughs) That doesn't mean that that you you? have the green light to just hound me and just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Well, I want to know when we going to dance again. Well, ask me for a dance. So, ask again? Sure, why not? If I... (laughs) I probably initiated the first one anyway. All right, so, so, okay. Because, like, I don't want you to be like, oh, my feet hurt. Be on some Sydney from house party shit. (laughs) (laughs) You want to dance? This is the jam. Like, <laughs> no. And then you got to make awkward conversation. Kid was like, is that Pierre Cardin? 
No. And that's what I think because we've gotten so far removed from that just being the norm to yeah. go out and enjoy ourselves. You think that that's what it is. Like, oh, yeah, you we, know, like we, we trying we trying we on yeah. You know what, fellas? And don't get me wrong, I'm I would prefer to grind up on somebody's fine ass son or, or daddy. father. Mm-hmm. But you know, I just be I'll be there for a good time. You know what? You know what My man Larry June says it best. What do he say? She says she only wanna dance, she don't like the hoe. You couldn't wait to get that out. Yeah, she only want to dance. She don't like okay. the hoe. You hear me? Okay. Um, that's on Friday Night Activities, by the way. Uh, that's a song. song called Friday Night Activities. Um, I get it. You know what, fellas? Let's just bring back dancing. Let's just bring it back. In- innocent, one-on-one, mono, face-to-face, you feeling... Not even... We ain't, we ain't got to be... I ain't got to get your number after we dance. Like, my mom literally back in the day, when she went out, she'd tell me, like, Clint, I would dance with, like, and not, like, dance on guys or anything. I don't know what she was doing, <laughs> but she probably, but no, but no, she would say, like, no, but, like, that was a thing. Like Dancing my, was just a thing. It was a thing. We need to bring that back. And you know what? I'm probably, I'm going to try to have a night where I'm DJing. We're going to call it dancing. It's a thing. I don't know. I want to dance. I need to, yeah, I, 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 I dance. Or, or I want to see people dancing. So I need to, yeah, I need a night. Yeah. I'm here night. for it. Let me know. I'm, I'm pulling up. All right, K Mills, man. I think these people love you. They love what you was talking about, man. We had a good podcast. This is I, fun. I enjoy talking about it. I'm All right. right. Tell, them where they can, tell them where they can find you. Oh, go ahead. What were you about to say? Let's go dancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell them where they can find you. All right, y'all. It's K Mills. You can find me on Instagram at Kendra Faith11. I'm not going to spell that out. You can put it on the screen if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Kendra Faith 11 on Instagram. Uh, be sure to check out Cards for the Culture. It's my black greeting card company that I know you're going to love. Cards black for the greeting. Culture. Let's talk about that with real quick. K's. You have a black greeting card company? Yes, I absolutely have a black greeting card company. We do not have enough representation, obviously. In and cards. um in greeting cards. And I think it's so important to give people their flowers, mm-hmm. words of affirmation. That's one of my love languages. Mm-hmm. So I created something because I got tired of spending 30 minutes to find a card that doesn't even fit, you know, what the vibe I'm looking for is either too corny or it's too white or it's too something that doesn't really resonate mm-hmm. um, with That's our dope. demographics. So I do all the digital illustrations, all the writing myself. Dope. Cards wow. for the culture. And they're one, or one, they're one of ones. Or like the oh the writing oh they're on the card okay so yeah yeah on the cards on the cards that's dope and I, you know I leave the blanks place because you always yes, got to put your yes, yes, <laughs> right yes. but yeah uh, cards for the culture with K so K R D S for the K U L T U R E and that's that's the website yes yeah, the website it's the Instagram it's all we'll the put things. it in it we'll put it in the, in the description I do pop ups around the city I'm in a dope. couple locations in Houston one Bet. in New Orleans you'll see it all on the page so y'all can fuck with me for sure all right well what did we learn today Kendra. We learned that we're going dancing again. We're bringing back I dancing. I think we're saying a lot of the same things. I think uh, we all recognize that like music is important. Yes. It's instrumental in creating connection. And, okay, instrumental in creating connection, but we need to bring back the feeling. I agree. And not be afraid to act on the feelings that come with sharing our music. I agree. I agree. That's what I learned, too. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you all for listening. Thank you. Thank you all for laughing. Kendra, thank you for coming on. It's my pleasure. This podcast is over.